Hello, my name is Angela Gambrell, and I am the author of Surviving Ed, the Eating Disorders Recovery blog at HealthyPlace.com. And I'm going to briefly talk about my experiences with mental illness and why I decided to be public about it. Okay, so in 2008, I was diagnosed with anorexia nervosa. I was in my early 40s, and at the time, I was working in a pretty high-profile job. I was a staff writer for a local newspaper in a small town where everybody knows everybody and people can talk. Anyway, as I began to show more and more signs of being ill with anorexia, particularly the physical symptoms of you know, losing weight, looking drawn, people speculated. They speculated that perhaps I had cancer. That was the big one. Or there were a couple whispers about AIDS and then some people didn't know and then some people guessed. They guessed that I had anorexia. So I didn't really have a choice to not be public about it. But in the end, that worked out really well. I was um, hospitalized in August 2008 for my illness. This is one of the many hospitalizations I've had with anorexia. And when I came back, I decided to do a feature story on a young lady in the area who had anorexia and had been at the Bermuda Center. And I decided to accompany that feature story, I would write a small column about my having anorexia. And the reason I did that is I wanted to open the doors to a conversation about anorexia and for people to know about anorexia, know that it wasn't anything to be ashamed of, or know how they could perhaps reach out for help if they were reading my column, reading my story, and suffering from anorexia or another eating disorder. and didn't know where to turn for help because I included a couple little um, blurbs about places um, to contact eating disorder resources like um, the National Association of Eating Disorders. And I wanted to share my story and other people's stories. So again, like I said, so if they need help, they can reach out for help. And this turned out to be a positive thing. Um, my employers were very understanding. I never felt like my job was in jeopardy. They were very understanding when I had to take time off and um, be hospitalized. They worked with me on my um, worked with me on my schedule when I had to go see my eating disorder psychiatrist every week. I was able to flex my hours, and I really don't at all regret being public about my illness. It's really gratifying to me that I was able to reach out to people and help. I became sort of, in this community, the go-to person about anorexia. A lot of people ask me about it, um, and I try to give them some advice, you know, not as a clinician, but just, you know, as someone who has um, dealt with anorexia in her own personal life. And so I I think it was a very positive thing. Now, I know that disclosure of mental illness is a personal decision for everyone, and I, you know, I know some people won't have the same experience I had. I wish they would, but perhaps with these um, videos and with our blogs and talking and reaching out, there will come a day where mental illness is not stigmatized, and we can each be open about it, just like we would be open if we had a physical illness. So that's you know, what I wanted to say, and I hope all of you have a great day. Thank you.